Madam Speaker. Speaker. The purpose of our participation in PISA is not to get a good global ranking. Our objective is to find out how well our students are being equipped with important life skills that are important for their future. In a PISA study, a sample of 5,415-year-olds was randomly selected by OECD for the pen and paper task on reading, math and science. Half of the students then went on to do a combination of the computer-based math, reading, or problem-solving tasks. There was no preparation required of schools and students. PISA scores are meant to be reported at the national aggregate level and not at the individual student or school level. The sampling technique used by OECD is such that the scores at the individual and school level are not statistically meaningful. The test scores of individual students are not disclosed to the participants or to schools. Students do not have to make additional preparations for this test. So our participation in this study is unlikely to create stress to students. We have also been working closely with schools, parents and the community to drive home the message that we should work together to bring out the best in every child. Among others, this means equipping them with the moral compass and the navigation skills to apply their knowledge and exercise their creativity in various contexts and situations, including those which are unfamiliar and complex. The various PISA scores give us an additional source of input and an international benchmark. The more detailed PISA findings in terms of the proportions of our students achieving at various proficiency levels also enable us to review the effectiveness of our teaching and learning strategies in leveling up the competencies of all students. Our students' good performance attest to their deep conceptual understanding and good thinking skills, honed through the rich learning experiences provided by our schools and teachers, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, for instance, in activities such as co-curricular activities, learning journeys, values in action, and project work of various forms. So teachers have also made learning relevant and engaging and ensured that students learn to use their knowledge and skills in real-life situations. It also reflects the emphasis that our parents place on education. So we'll continue to work in partnership with parents to equip our students for the future.